Tano, you're here for Barrow's Inventory, 17th of November, 2023. How's everyone doing? Hope everyone's had a good couple of weeks. This one's a bit late. I've been super busy at work. He's down on Saturn at the Cronia Relay. Let's go and see what he's got. Has everyone managed to finish their night wave? Get everything done? I've managed to get my kids account, two of them, up to level 30. I think I've prestige it up to level 57 now. So I've got plenty of rewards out of that. Looking forward to the next one. Meditation. It is difficult to understand the universe if you only study one planet. Just reverse my orbiter in. Okay, there he is, Barrow. What Wait, have you got so in this rotation? Barrow Keytear has arrived. Okay, it's got a Chondric sigil. You can't see because it's under my chest plate. It's quite nice looking. Barrow Noggle statue. Prime Fever Strike, which is really essential, I think. Definitely get that. Put it on the deconstructor part of the Helios. We also have Primed Firestorm. And a forest chest plate. The Katir forest shoulder plates. They're not that pretty to be honest. The Prisma Berry Tux. Well, when you're in your arc wing. Primes Cleanse Infested, which I still don't have, and I am going to get that today. The forest leg plates, which are not too bad looking. The Mantis Prisma skin. Tear Sagatra, which is not essential. It's a nice to have if you have excess Ducats. The earpiece. The Lizard Sidonia skin. The Neo 01 relic, which has parts of Vault Prime in. So if you don't have him, that's definitely worth picking up. The Sentinel Tail. We also have the Katir Cyan Dana, which has got a bit of a snakeskin effect. It's absolutely massive though. Primed Pack Leader for your companion. The Galaxian Vandal, which is awful, but it's good for mastery fodder. The beer on Alexis skin, a gun that I never use, but I should still have that. The Lemnus Staff skin. As always, Sands of Inros blueprint for anyone who hasn't actually got that quest yet. Grav Lifter Factory, which is quite a cool little ornament. I'm definitely going to buy that later. The Vastalock, which is great to put status on and it's got a lot of slash. So that is definitely worth picking up. If you don't have that, it's a bit of fun. And the fast floof, which is really cute as well. And the Fae Path Ephemera, as always. So there isn't actually that much in this week. I reckon the Vastalock and the Primed Fever Strike are my Until two picks this week. But obviously, if you have two Primed Fever Strikes, you could actually put one on your deconstructor and you could put one on your Vastalock. Thanks for watching. Don't forget, give us a thumbs up if you enjoyed the video. Subscribe for more like this and hit the bell for notifications. Catch you next time, Tenno.